Hi everyone, this is Gianni Bini. In this video, I would like to tell you about Apogee, a brand that certainly does not need presentation and which certainly represent excellence in quality in digital audio conversion. In my studio, the House of Glass, I have three Apogee Symphony IO MK2, which have circuitry that guarantee a balanced signal directly up to the converter. These three interfaces ensure me up to 80 in analog, digital, and digital analog output. But above all, I want to talk about the synergy that is created between these interfaces and the console you see behind me. Because through the Dante protocol, is it possible to make these interfaces dialogue with an entire architecture that represents the future for what concerns the organization, the workflow in Pro Musical Studios? As I mentioned earlier, Symphony IO MK2 is a multi channel audio interface with the unimaginable new level of ADDA conversion never before achieved by Apogee. Symphony IO MK2 offers you a modular input output system. Each interface can have a maximum of 32 inputs and 32 analog outputs and through the touchscreen display is it possible to control practically all the functions of the interface itself. But the very important thing is that with the Dante card you can begin to make our audio interface communicate through this protocol, even with all the peripherals connected to the Dante network and therefore with a single Ethernet cable, Symphony IO MK2, equipped with the Dante card, it can be easily connected and shared within a broadcast, memory, studio or live post-production network, bringing the legendary Apogee sound quality to the most widespread audio over EP network in the world. However, Symphony IO MK2 Dante also includes Pro Tools connectivity to easily integrate a Pro Tools HD HDX system into a Dante network without additional hardware. Now I want to show how my workflow the studio is. My studio is practically all based on the Dante protocol and therefore how I use the interface at my disposal both for the analog insert and for the monitoring as regards the stereo or Dolby Atmos mixes, because this is a studio especially adapted to the new protocol of Dolby Atmos, the protocol 7.1.4. Next, I want to show you in practice how Apogee interface interacts with Dante Protocol Console. What do you see is a session that I have already created in which I can manage all the flows from the console to the DAW or from the DAW to the console or even the day simple inserts. I need the Apogee to do many things. Meanwhile, some are designed for analog inserts, so I have to convert the signal back to analog, after which I process it with an outboard and then return it to the console. To do this, simply click the insert button and then I have the whole list of insert points named with the names of the outboards and I can decide to insert whatever I want. This all happens in the routine panel. As you can see, every console which uses the Dante protocol has or can show and can be configured to manage a number of flows which are the maximum of the console, which, as I said, is about 600. For example, in the EO management, whatever the connected device is, it is by the Dante network, which is conceptually very similar to a home network for the Wi-Fi example of a home and for all the devices that are connected to our router that manages the internet connection. In this case, you'll see all Symphony, named Symphony 1, Symphony 2, and Symphony 3, that I can manage and pilot directly from the console. This allows me to convey all the flows to and from the Apogee simply using a network cable. This is very nice and above all very practical because I have absolutely flexibility and therefore I can use the Apogee to convert signals coming from microphones in recording. I can use, as I said before, to manage an insert or to send the signals to speakers. For example, in this case, the Apogee 3 is one of a part of my analog outputs are managed for listening in my studio, in my 7.1.4 environment. So I have to use a number of outputs, one for each speaker, so the signal is managed and converted from Apogee. The console itself does much more, but in this video I would like to focus the attention to the workflow and on the possibility I have of being able to manage all the routing in a very flexible way. 
For example, if I decide that a certain channel must have an input, it comes to me physically from an apogee. I just need to go and track it down. For example, I will find here Symphony 1 with all the lines. In this case, 32 of the Symphony 1 that I can dedicate to the input of this channel. Then, by saving the console session, I will be able at later time to recall that setup data and that workflow that I can use for uses that can be those of recording, those of mixing, those of post-production or whatever they may be. In conclusion, the combination of the SSL console, which is capable of managing a flow of over 500 channels up to a limit at this time of 1000, maybe 1500 channels, and the Apogee infrastructure allow me to have a maximum flexibility and take home any kind of situation that can happen in a pro studio like mine, from, a, from the recording of example to the mix of 7.1.4. Any situation can be managed between the exchange of the Dante architecture, between the exchange of audio streams over IP, of course, and take home in any situation with very low latency and type of work that comes to me, such as mixing engineer or anyone who wants to equip themselves with workflow. Apogee is brand distributed in Italy by Soundwave. I will see you again in another video. Thank you and thanks especially to the Apogee brand and the SSL brand.